Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here today to call your attention to a really interesting article in this month's journal. It's from Zhang et al. at uh, Texas Southwestern in Dallas, and what they did was they retrospectively analyzed the positive yield to uh, the clinical outcome and to the clinical information of blood cultures in patients who came in with pneumonia. Now again, as clinicians, we know we see pneumonia every single day, and these days, often patients are just given some antibiotics and sent home if it doesn't look like a very dangerous pneumonia. But when the patients are admitted to the hospital, they invariably get blood cultures. Well, the yield from these blood cultures turned out in the, in the Texas series to be extremely small and not very helpful. So it brings into question something we routinely do all the time in our hospital care. Maybe we shouldn't be doing routine blood cultures in m most straightforward patients with pneumonia. In any case, uh, it it's uh, an interesting uh, result. Um, we do a lot of things in the hospital that are just the result of habit that have been done for many years, and often when it's studied, it turn, they turn out to be useless and, and sometimes expensive as well. Thanks very much for reading the American Journal of Medicine, and also for staying in touch with us on our blog, our website, and our many social media.